What's going on guys? This is Nate from the Scrub Academy welcoming you to another live duel here on the channel. Today we are t facing off with my S4 stack. It's brand new, just came out of the box. Uh, this past, I think it was like either this past set or the set before that. Uh, so we're playing with that as well as Steven's Wind Witch deck. Yep, Wind Witches. So uh, both of them got brand new support. Obviously S4's got the entire thing is brand new support, but Wind Witches got new support. Um, so we did go ahead and we built these decks as best as we could. We play tested the kind of kinda? play tested. It's a little bit. Looked at the cards a little bit and maybe yeah. read them. Yeah. Uh, we went ahead and threw those together for you guys. We're gonna do a live duel. Uh, you did see our deck profiles previously this week on Monday and Wednesday. So if you have not seen them, make sure to check those out first. That way you understand why the deck is built the way it is. But yeah, let's go ahead and jump into this. So higher or low, sir? We're always getting high. Always getting high. Oh, Three. not this time, Nathan. Oh man. I'm actually gonna win a dice roll. Let's go! Yeah, you did. And I. When Witches wanted to go first, too. When Witches want to go first? I told. Yeah. Good so. luck, sir. I wish I could still know, like, what to do with this deck. <laughs> Honestly. Bro, I wish I knew what I was doing. <laughs> I wish I was new. I wish I knew what I was doing all the time. Okay, this. At all? This, yeah. this can't be good. Alright, fine. So, since I control no monsters, or all my monsters, you control one which monsters, which I don't have any, but since I control none, I can normal summon this without tripping. Okay. Five. So you're normal summoning Blizzard Bell? Yeah, I'm a pass guard. Pass turn. That's, that's all you, that's all you <laughs> that's got? That's all I got. All right, I'm going to read this off to everybody at home because I don't even know what this is. No. If you control no monsters, draw monsters, you control our win wish monsters, you can normal summon this card without tributing. During your opponent's main phase, if you control a win wish monster other than win wind witch Blizzard Bell, you can send this card from your hand or field to the graveyard and click 500. Okay, you can try 500 damage. Yep, yeah, pretty right. much. So. All right. There you go. Good. GGEs. I get to go first, and I still just... Oh. And you still suck it up? Yep, still sucking it up. It's a good time. All right, let's see what I can do here. So we're going to go ahead and normal summon um, the Phantom Knights of Torn Scales. Nice. So, okay. We're going to go ahead and special summon the Phantom Knight of Silent Boots. All right. We're going to Linko summon. Okay. We will link summon into Isolde. Yes. Uh, Isolde's effect to add. That is perfectly fine. We're gonna go ahead and add the Neo Spatial Connector. Okay. And then while we're here, we're gonna go ahead and activate Isolde's effect to special. That's fine. So we're gonna send Divine Sword Phoenix Blade. And Let's see here. Not your hand, is it? Living Fossil. Two special summon. Just the two? Just the two. S Force Rappa Chiamari. That gets out the level, right? Yes. Yeah, okay. Yep. Because I remember playing as Old Day, that was my first hero deck. So I was playing as Old Day in that. Yep. Alrighty. So with that, we will. Activate Chiamara's effect. So I can banish one S Force monster in my hand or card. It has to be a card from my hand to bring Rappa Chiamaru back to my hand. Then I can special summon one from the deck. Okay. That good? Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and banish the second Chiamaru that I had. Nice. Uh, to bring back the Rappa Chiamaru on the field to special summon one from the deck. Are these the secrets? I, just, I haven't even seen these cards. Um, oh, that's nice. We'll go ahead and special summon S Force Platina. Okay. So S Force Platina's effect when it's summoned, it can target one of my banished S Force monsters and special summon. Nice. So we'll go ahead and take the Chimaro and special summon it back to the field. We will then. Gotta make sure I'm doing everything correctly here. So we're going to go ahead and activate Overdone Burial. So this card is, activate this card by discarding one monster, then target one monster in my graveyard whose level is lower than the discarded monster's original level. Special summon it and, disc and equip it with this card. The equip monster has its effects negated and I can only activate one Overdone Burial once per turn. Right. So I'll discard Malicious to special summon Torn Scales. Okay. Malicious is pretty good. Mm-hmm. Definitely. All right, so from there we will link three. 
into S Force Justify. All right, so on, on summon, I'm gonna activate my Heavenly Zephyr uh, Miradora. Okay. So it allows me to special summon it from my hand because you special summon from the extra deck a monster with 2,000 or more attack. Okay. So when it's summoned, or if this card is special summoned from the hand, I can target one face up opponent's monster and that was special summoned from the extra deck. Neither player can activate that monster's effects while this monster is face up on the field. And I can only use one of these once per turn. So uh, his effects are negated then. So it's just negated? Yeah. Okay. All right. I can deal with that, hopefully. Hopefully. <laughs> we'll find out. Um. And it's only while Meodora's on the field, correct? That's correct. Okay. It's not a terrible newer hand trap. I believe it's newer. I didn't even realize it was a hand trap, to be honest. No. Oh. Hopefully I hit you in a good spot because, like I said, we don't know our decks fully yet, so. Right. I gotta know when, when's a good spot. Honestly, I thought you had like an Apollosa or something. I was gonna be like, oh, that's gonna be sick. Um, let's find out. So what we're gonna do next is we're going to activate Mali's effect. Yep. We'll banish it to special. And then we will activate Silent Nudes effect. Okay. So we'll banish it to add a Phantom Knight Spore Trap from my deck to the hand. Mm-hmm. Add the Phantom Knight's Fog Bleed. Yep. Because when it was banished, um, I can go ahead and special summon Scorn, or Torn Scales. From the grave? Yes. Nice. So that's added to my hand. This is shuffled up. So my biggest issue here, where I screwed up, is I just realized he doesn't have any down arrows. Oh no! So that's not good. That's yeah. why you can't link summon war. I was yeah. That's what I was. I was. Is this a main like a link? Yeah. I was, deck. Yeah. Oh sh. So I was going to do some stuff stuffs, but we can't. So we got to figure something else out instead. Do you have it? I mean, I don't know. Does this deck play fusions? Yes. No. That wouldn't even be good, right? Maybe. We'll just leave it for now. Fuck it. Um, so you can you can tack over both of mine with him, because this is only a 2k, and then this is only a 18. And then S Platina's effect is that each of your monsters in the same column as one of my S Force monsters lose 600 attack. Okay. Which I mean. You don't have any in my columns, mm -hmm. so. So, 2018. Yes. We will go ahead and enter battle phase. Yep. Yeah. And we'll attack into your Midar. That's fine. For six, I believe. 600. Down to 74. To my 8,000. And we will go ahead and Main phase two. Set, set one. Set the fog blade? Really? Wow. Set two. Ooh. Go ahead. <sighs> Alright, draw for turn. 
Nice. Let's... Oh, also with Justify here. Mm -hmm. So I can target one effect, one effect monster on your that you control and they gain effects until the end of the turn. That's either during your player's turn. Okay. And then I can move that card that card to one of the zones that he points to. Okay. And uh, let's see here. If this card attacks, a oh, if this card attacks, I can banish all monsters this card points to. But I didn't do that. I didn't realize that was a thing. So. Oh. Okay. So just for future, future reference, future reference there. Sure. Okay. Um, I'm going to. Mm -hmm. Activate my Wind Witch Chimes. Okay. Targeting this, so it has to be a different name. Okay. Special something from the deck. Okay. Is that good? Yeah, it's good. I uh, will. It has to be defense, so I'll target my uh, Witch Ice Spell. Okay. Activate my Ice Spell's effect. Yeah. Okay. Which will allow me to special summon another one, so I will special summon. Uh, Glass spell. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's fine. Um, so I'm like now one witch monster from my uh, deck to my hand. Is that good? I'll go ahead and activate his effect to negate it. To negate that? Okay. Yep. There's a feature. Is that once per turn? Yep. Okay. I'm going to normal summon my wind, the wind charmer. Okay. I'm going to to first synchro summon these two for five okay. or five six seven eight for my crystal wing synchro dragon okay is that good yeah it's fine all right and then i will i don't think he has an on summon effect have, nope oh, okay then i will synchro summon these two for seven okay for my wind pegasus ignister mm -hmm. Um, I'll activate the effect of Ignister, so I'll, for how many uh, Ignister cards I control, I can destroy that many spells or traps on your field. Okay. So I control one, so I'll target this one. Go ahead, and I'll target your uh, Dragon to negate effect. You! Are you dumb? Okay, so it just negates his but effect. Is it, it for the turn? It's Well, it was actually a continuous, so he destroyed it anyway, so it doesn't oh, matter. Okay. I thought it was a full-time thing. Yikes. Um, so, okay, so, I think he doesn't have bubbles, so that wouldn't really work very well against him. But if I don't get rid of that, he can attack this. So, my clearing synchro will battle your S Force. For 400? Yes, for 400. Bringing me down to 76? Yes. And then my Wind Pegasus Ignister will attack your S Force Tina. For nothing, just getting over the big booty. Okay. And then I believe I pass to you, my good sir. Okay. Drop a turn. Alright, so we're gonna go ahead and normal summon. Neo's Fishing Connector. Okay. Activate effect of connector. Uh, sure. 
Which, actually, what is it? Uh, special summons one from my deck. Okay. A Neospatial monster or elemental hero. Neos. That's fine. I'll let that go okay. Special summoning. Neospatial Dolphin. Okay. Let's me look at your hand. Okay, so it's part of a discount on Crimson Hand. So, if I read this correctly, if there's a monster on your side of the field with an attack greater than or equal to the attack and stuff, the monster destroy the such a monster and for higher damage. So I can look at your hand, and then if there's anything in your hand that has lower attacks, like a Hatch Blossom or something, yeah. I can get. May I read? Yeah. Alright. We're gonna go ahead and link four. Okay. So, now, her attack is what? 32. Okay, on summon, I'm going to special summon my Medora again. Activate effect, targeting this, negating its effect. Can I read your first swing again? Mm -hmm. I got to make sure I'm doing this correctly so I don't lose it. Okay. He's at 2000. Yeah. All right. So we're going to go ahead and activate S4 Showdown. So I can special summon one S-Force monster from my hand in defense position, or I can target one S-Force in my graveyard, add it back to my hand. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and special summon S-Force, Rappa, Chiamar. Okay. Okay, so we'll go effect of Chiamar. Okay, I will activate Crystal Wings effect to negate. Okay, then and then I gain, it, Yeah, and then I gain his attack, okay. which is... 800. Okay, so he's at 38 then. Alrighty. I completely did that wrong anyway. I was stupid. I shouldn't have done that that way. I was not thinking correctly. Oof. But there's nothing I can do about that now. And the issue is... Now that his effects negated, he has zero attack. Yep. So, with that being said... We got, what, 23, 38, and then 2,000? Mm -hmm. Alright, we're going game two. Game two? Alright. Because I did that wrong. All right, I'll choose to go first here, and hopefully I don't break out and lose right away. Yes, sir. Because I really, I do, I do want to show what this deck does, dang it. Yes, sir. I do, I promise. Okay, this isn't as bad as last time. All right, so we're going to go ahead and normal summon our Neospace Connector. Okay. Activate effect of Neospace Connector as well. Uh, that's good. Special summon Neospatial Aqua Dolphin. That's fine. Aqua Dolphin's effect. To look at my hand? Yes. So I'll discard one to look at your hand and then one goes to the grave. Is that if the attack is less? Yes. It has okay. to be less than 800. Okay. This allows me to look at it pretty much. Yeah. And then I'll know like what you got going on. All right. So then I lose I think 500 life points because of that, because I didn't do anything. Yep. Bam, burning for 500. Broken. That's the thing, I, a lot of people don't expect with the win, which is can do some good burn damage. Mm -hmm. All right, so we'll go ahead and we will special summon Fire Flint Lady. Okay. And that's because I control a uh, warrior. Okay. Then I can send this card from the field from the field to the graveyard, so I'll summon one level four from my hand if I want to, but I'm not going to. Okay. Link. All right. Into Isolde. All right. So on summon, I will special summon my Phantasmic. Okay. So I'm allowed to draw one plus one, so that's two. Mm -hmm. Is that all he does? I believe it's it. I think it's every time he... Is it like Maxi? 
Or is it just on the one it's time? Just the you one do time. It? It's just the one for the one time for the one time one time. Then if I if I activate a, far, a card or effect that targets a monster you you control, you can discard a card in the game. It sounds legit. So you will draw one, or you'll draw cards equal to the number of link monsters I control. So one plus one. So you'll draw two. Two. Yep, I got that. And then you'll shuffle cards from your hand into the deck equal to the number of link monsters they control. So I shuffle back one. Yes. First time I've ever had got to actually use a Phantasmic because they were ninety fucking dollars right? last time for the reprint. Thing. We're all about that budget life that's here at the Scrub Academy. That's freaking right, ladies and gentlemen. Cardboard's expensive. It is. We're gonna go ahead and activate the effect of his old day on summon. That is fine. So we're gonna add a warrior. We will add Armageddon. Knight. All right. And then we're going to activate the effect of his only special. Mm -hmm. So we're going to dump Phoenix Sword and Living Fossil to special summon S4 CMR. Okay. And Armageddon Knight. Okay, that's a good card. CMR's effect. Mm -hmm. I can banish one from my hand to bring it back to my hand to special summon one. Yep. So we'll banish Chimar to bring Chimar back to special summon Latina. So then I'd lose 600. Uh, then we will back to Platina, special summon back. Every column, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, so then he loses six. Yep. Goes down to 18. All right? Yep. Yeah. You want to cut? Yeah. Go ahead and we'll link summon here. Link three into S4 Justify. All right, so on summon, I'm going to Heavenly Zephyr again. Okay. I'll target that and I get its effects. Okay. Sounds good. We will enter battle phase. Sure. Attack for 200. Okay. So that's down to 78. Yes. You. Got that. Yeah. Are you dumb? Do you have it though? That's the question. Do I really though? Um, and then we will attack for what? He's down eight, or no, he's down six. So this is eighteen. Eighteen to my twenty-six. So it'll take eight. Yep. And then his effect will actually activate to banish all cards you can point to. But you now don't have any, so yep. it doesn't even matter. So I uh, minus the. So just down to seven thousand. Yeah, that's me. Down to seven thousand. And then main phase two, we'll set one, and we will pass her. All right, I'll draw for 10. Oh boy. Wait a second. We're stupid. That was turn one. Oh. But because you you special summoned, give me back. I wasn't even thinking about it. Give me back. Give me back that. Give me back that thou. <laughs> I wasn't even thinking. I wasn't even thinking, bro. I am. I was just sitting here like judge. <laughs> so now, okay. I've never really got to use this very card card either very much. So this is kind of a ruling moment for me. Okay. If I and I gotta I gotta even count. Okay, so you started off with the normal summon of. Neospatian. Mm -hmm. Okay. Special summoning the Aqua Dolphin. Yes. And then. Chimbara. I think I can Nibiru. You could have Nibiru me, yeah. Okay. Well, no, no, that's the thing. I drew it, though. Oh, okay. So, but it's still during my main phase. So, can I? No. No, it had to be okay. during my turn. It's your main phase. Yes. Got it. Okay. It was when I was. Because it just my... says during the main phase. So, yeah. whatever main phase it is that is 
been special yeah. summoned. Okay, yeah, got it. I haven't special right. summoned any now. Got it. All right. See, scrub alert, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know how to play Yu Gi Oh. Anyway, you might as well just have that thing going like the entire time. The entire time. The entire time. Okay, let's see what I can do here. Can't believe we just like did that spaced off through the yeah that's pretty bad the battle phase there that didn't even occur. Who does that? What the heck? Uh, I just figured you had monsters on the field and I had bad. monsters on the field, so bad. might as well. Bad Yu-Gi-Oh players. That's who does that. Holy crap! All right, I am going to activate my spell card, uh, spell book knowledge. Okay. Doing so, what? Uh, sending one, send either uh, one spell caster monster you can. Oh, you control, so never mind. Hold All on. right, hold on. Like we're just gonna leave that scrub, scrub alert. Yeah, we're up really, on the we screen. really are right now. We really are right now. Okay, so never. So instead, man, what do I do here? So do I really, do I really do that? So while he's on the board, his effects are negated. Mm -hmm. So I want to keep him there. So this is kind of dumb, but we're going to do it anyway. So I'm going to tribute this. Okay. For my Wind Witch Blizzard Bell. Okay. Right, right. Okay, so if I can total monsters. Just... Yeah, well, that doesn't matter. So I did that. Okay. Alright, so. Now I can do my Wind Witch Chimes, so I can target this, special summon a different one. Okay. Is that good? Yeah. Okay. So, I will... Special summon the Ice Bell. Okay. Activating Ice Spells effect. Special summon one for my deck since she was special summoned. This should be in the graveyard. Mm, cards in hand? Uh, I have three. I'll go ahead and activate the Phantom Knight's Fog Blade. Which? Targeting. So it will. Targeting one effect on. or Target one effect monster on the field, negate the face up monster's effects, and then that monster can't attack. Okay. Yes. The wing will swing over for four hundred. For four hundred. Okay. All right. And then I will. Does anything used to do anything when they hit the group? I should actually if this card is possible. Okay, so I needed to do that on the summon then, so I'll remember that for next time. To inflict an extra 500 when she's summoned. Alright. So, um, I believe... Uh, so if I destroy him by battle, I think I get his... Do I do that? Is that how that works? This card battles opponent's level 5. Or it's not level 5, but higher monster, so never mind. So, I believe it is your go. Okay. So, Draw for turn. I 
Activate bridge head. Okay. All right, so this card, we'll go ahead and read it for you. When this card is activated, I can add one S-Force monster from my deck to the hand. If you declare an attack on an S-Force mon- uh, If you attack- if you declare an attack on an S-Force monster in the same column, I can activate the effect. That monster I control cannot be destroyed by battle. Okay. As long as it's in the same column. Yep. Okay. And Does it yeah. do anything else? Uh, well, it just allows me to add the one S-Force. Okay. So it allows you to add, mm-hmm. and then uh, same column can't be destroyed by battle. Yep. Sounds good. Yeah. Play. Okay. We're going to banish Connector and Dolphin to add the spec to hand. Alright. Yeah, sure. We'll do that. <laughs> Actually, I still have to add off that, don't I? So that's not even a thing yet. Yeah. I'm still trying to figure out. There we go. Okay, now we can do that. That's fair. Judge. Almost have an Armageddon Knight. Alright. Armageddon Knight's effect. One Dark Monster from the deck to the graveyard. You will allow that. Okay. I'm over here trying to bait out your freaking Crystal Wing. I know. <laughs> you know what? That, that was the biggest problem I think I had early on in first dueling, is I just shotgunned everything. I just didn't care. I was like, no, I said no, no, no. It was like, ah, uh-huh, gotcha. Well, now that you allow that, I have to figure out... What you doing now? <laughs> what I'm doing with my life, yeah. <laughs> Listen, you're clapping me in the structure deck challenges, so it feels good this time, alright? That's all I have to say. If I win, I still could lose. We'll see. Sending this torn skits. Okay. All right. We will activate the fog blade effect. Sure. Banishing it, especially on the torn scales. Uh huh. Excuse me. We'll then activate the torn scales effect, discarding one card to send one Phantom Knight card from my deck to the graveyard, except for Torn Scales. Come through, Grave. Not much in there, but yeah, go for it. Lefty Driver, what is that? It was supposed to be a tech that I had in there, but (laughs) I wasn't able to pull it off. Uh, Man, I wish I knew what the Phantom cards did more. I need to look at those. Um, doesn't Boots allow you to get a Fog Blade? Sure. <laughs> I'll know when I read the cards when I go through it. <laughs> Man, is 
this a good one to hit with the crystal wing or do we just let it slip by again? But then again, if you get a fog blade, I don't like that because I've messed with my crystal wings. I can only negate monster effects. All right, we're going to shotgun it this time. I'm going to choose to negate and then I will gain its attack, which... Okay. Uh, that's the thing. Does it add to the 38 he's already at? I can't ever remember how that works. Or does it reset and then he only gets the 6? Let's see. Without the, let's see here. <clears throat> it's only it's only during that damage calculation. Okay. Um, if you gain attack until the end of the turn. Okay. So no, it's not. It's now back to normal. Okay, so then I will destroy. Negate, and destroy. I, negate, destroy, and then I gain six. So he's at thirty-six. Now. Okay. For this turn. I don't know if that was good or not. I mean, yeah, because I can't really do shit anyway. Nice. Yeah, because your monsters are so powerful compared to this deck. This deck isn't good. <sighs> this deck isn't good at all. It hurts. Crystal Wing is a good card. It is. Uh, we'll go ahead and enter battle phase. Sure. Attacking. We'll attack over for 200. Two. Hundo. Down to 76 to my 71. Okay. And we will... Uh, pass turn. Okay. I will draft turn. So normal summon the one witch class bell. Okay. Um, I will activate effect to add one to my hand. Okay. She was normal summoned. I will add the one witch snow bell. Okay. Not really, because I'm going to lose, but yeah. <laughs> I just... I can't believe how bad this deck is, honestly. You really think it's that bad? It is when I, you don't draw the certain cards. Is the issue. I can see. I can see that. I can see. So... So, since I control two wind monsters, I can special summon my uh, snow bell. Okay. I will synchro summon for five into Chambara. Um, we will go ahead and enter the battle phase. Okay. I will battle Crystal Wing over your, um, can't remember what's her name? Patina? Patina. For, for 800? For 800. Uh, and then he gains that attack, so now he's at. Sweet. So, yeah. Battles. Uh, this card gains attack equal to that current attack of that post monster it is battling. 
that damage calculation only. Oh, so it pretty much just does 3,000? Yes, it does 3,000 to you. And then, um, Chambar can attack. Twice. Making it, yep, making a second attack, and then it gains 200 attack. So this is at 22, so okay. that would be eight. 800. And then for 22. So the eight would bring me down to 23? No. Yeah. Math. My brain. <laughs> the brain, the math, it's not good. It's not so bueno. 33. 33. 3300, my brain. Yeah. And, and then, then 22? It's another 22. Is it 22 or 24? Uh, 22. I think it only gets the 200 okay. once. So 22 will bring me down to 1100. Yep. Okay. And then I believe we pass to you. Sir. Okay. So one more so turn. I need a dark hole. Draw the nuts. All right. So we're gonna go ahead and normal summon Chiamar. Okay. Activate the effect of Chiamar, which is banish one special one. I want to target activate. Okay. Game. Yeah, you got the game. Okay. You got this. Let's go. Steven takes another one off of Nathan. Can't win in structure decks, but we got this one, boys. Win, which is not you, that bad. I need to start picking bad, stop picking bad decks. <laughs> All right, guys, you saw it here first. Win witches are better than S-Force. Uh, coming up in like, I think it's June or July, there, there's gonna be new packs coming out for the S-Forces, so it's gonna be a whole lot better. Uh, but right now it's just not not the best. You have to open up the exact cards you need. It's not just more, it's not like a, uh, oh, open two warriors and golf with his old days. It's like a open two, but you have to have this certain card in your hand every single time or else you can't really do anything. But. No. All right, guys, if you did enjoy today's duel, let me know down in the comment section below. Hit that like button and subscribe button because all your support is greatly appreciated. But until the next time, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. As always, this is Nate from the Scrub Academy. And this is Steven. Signing up for now. Peace out.